Hi, everybody. No, I'm not a bridesmaid. <laughs> what do I have here? I have some collards. It did feel like I was, it did kind of look like I was holding a bouquet, right? I know I'm a little corny. But I do have some collard greens and some kale greens, and they are awesome for you, awesome for your kids. Um, today I'm trying something new in the kitchen when my kids is back to school time. When they get home from school, they act like they've never eaten in life. Do you have the same problem? Yeah. They're starved, and they want to go through the cabinet and the pantry and find uh, all kinds of chips and all the junk that they can find in the house. Um, so I today want to switch it up on them and have a snack waiting something that is their favorite is salt and vinegar potato chips so i'm gonna try and do salt and vinegar kale and collard chips um so let's take this adventure together i have made them only one time so i'll see if i can make them successfully this time and if i do as usual i won't be stingy i'll share it with you okay we'll be in the kitchen in two seconds Hey guys, so I'm in the kitchen and I um, have washed my collards. Look at these big old pretty leaves. I think they're so pretty. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this um, right out of the middle. I guess the stem that goes all the way up out of the middle because I don't think that'll taste good in the chip. And I am gonna just use the leafy part of the, of the vegetable. And this is Charlie, as usual. Charlie wants to see what I'm doing. He's home today from preschool. Say hi, Charlie. Hi. Um, <laughs> my little helper. Go finish eating your lunch, Charlie. Okay, so I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna, I've started cutting my kale up into pieces that I think are appropriate. And I've lined some, um, some pans with parchment paper and I have um, preheated my oven to 350. So I'm gonna keep cutting them up until they're done and I'll show you what they look like once they're on the pan. And we will season them with some um, apple cider vinegar, olive oil, a little bit of um, sea salt and um, try and mimic some apple cider. I keep saying apple cider vinegar, but I mean try and mimic some salt and vinegar chips with my, which my children love. So maybe we can make a healthier version today. Hi guys, so I have um, chopped up my um, kale and I ended up just doing the kale right now because I'm running out of space and I don't want to crowd them too much on the plate on the um <laughs> crowd them too much on the pan because I want them to all each have the opportunity to, to get crunchy and get some even heat on them so um, I'm gonna do the collards in my next batch but I'll start off with my uh, kale here and now what I'm gonna do is I have some apple cider vinegar and I like Bragg's <laughs> I just, um, I'm gonna take two tablespoons. I'm totally experimenting, and some of you out there may have an awesome recipe for doing this. If you do, this is just an idea. Um, for people, sometimes it's hard when you have food allergies to just be able to pick up a bag of chips. Things that are made in the same facility as um, nuts or peanut oil um chips are pretty easy to find for us i mean of course they are unhealthy <laughs> isn't that crazy how the unhealthy stuff is easy to find but anyway um so i did two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar and now i'm just gonna put a tablespoon of olive oil in my bowl and i am going to um i like paprika i'm gonna put a little just a pinch of paprika in this mix and see what it does to that and then I am looking for my salt you can't have salt and vinegar chips without the salt where did I put it okay got it got my Himalayan sea salt you guys may wonder why I only use Himalayan sea salt is because it's lower in sodium and it's better for you if you are watching your salt because of high blood pressure or if you want to watch it because of your kids I don't want my kids getting too much salt all kinds of problems so what I'm gonna do is put um, I'm gonna put a half a teaspoon of salt in this and then I'm gonna just give it a taste see what it tastes like and I'm gonna drizzle all of this on top of my kale and I bought the, the hearty kale. I've done this with um, the other kind of kale before. You can use either or. See, it's kind of like a salad dressing, really. And I'm just gonna taste it. Not too bad. Okay, very vinegary. You can use a spoon now. Maybe it could take a hint more salt. 
And now I'm going to pour it over my kale chips. This is exciting and I'm uh, anxious to see if it will taste yummy or not. And the biggest indication of whether it's gonna be yummy or not, you know who, my kids. I'll probably put this in the oven, let it get crispy. I'm gonna start off at like 30 minutes and then I'm just gonna watch it and see what it does, okay guys? Let's do that and I'll see you again once I'm taking it out of the oven. Ready. Hey, so I my kale chips has been in the oven for about 30 minutes and this is what they look like when I took them out. And guess what? Let's give it a taste. Whoa, <laughs> that was really good. Did you hear that crunch? Boy, I got a really, really salty one. Um, so now I'm just gonna take them off. They're crunchy and they're kind of light. Some of them have a little bit more salt than others. Whoa. But they do absolutely taste like salt and vinegar chips. And if I can predict, when my kids get home, they're gonna be excited to try something new. And guess what? Like I always tell them, try something new. You don't have the opportunity to be so picky because you have food allergies. So the things that I go out of my way to make for you, please, 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 please try it. <laughs> That's what I tell them. And sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But um, if you have a gluten intolerance or if you're allergic to nuts, this is nut free, this is dairy free, this is gluten free, and you'll, um, this is really easy to make and this will probably be way less fattening than some chips if you're just looking for the crunchy aspect, you got it, okay? So give it a try sometime. See you next time on Chef Here I go again. Guys, how do you like the kale chips? The barbecue chips. Harper is not a fan of kale chips, right Harper? So we're not torturing her with it, uh -huh. <laughs> but she's missing out. That is good. And there's Charlie. Charlie says they're good, right, Charlie? Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. And Cam, what do you think? I think they're amazing. You think they're amazing? It's just like Liz. Mmm. -hmm. Yummy. Should people try them for their kids? Yes. And just try them, just adults. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. It's a healthy potato chip. It's a healthy potato chip. Well. Yummy. All right. Okay. Thank you. Oh, I will know.